Hey there, YouTube family. This is Stocks with Josh. This is not the video that I was planning for today, but we've had a pretty large move in verb stock. We had a capitulation moment, and I thought it would be important for me to come on and give you guys some of my thoughts, break down the fundamentals and technicals and what exactly is going on. Take a minute for me, hit the like, and let me know in the comment section if you're currently trading verb. Verb came down today in an unexpected move all the way down to 17 cents. And I will tell you right off the bat that I did choose to buy some, even though it has been my position that my position is big enough. But I thought that I would take advantage of the move because it did look like a capitulation event. I was able to get in at around 19 cents. So I did buy the dip, but I bought it and I was very uncomfortable buying it because I didn't really understand why the stock has broken down the way that it is. I went and did some hard research on it. I'm gonna break down with you guys my view of the technicals and what my opinion is regarding the fundamentals right now. Of course, my actions are not a suggestion for you guys to buy, sell, or hold the stock. I am simply letting you know what I've done. You guys know that yesterday I played Apple and I was able to close my position with a small 8% gain from the time that I bought it to the time that I closed. I had bought 10 call options, but I did not sell two of them. I decided to let two of them ride. And of course, this morning we had a nice pop on Apple, and so I decided to add to my position. So by the time that I sold that, I decided to put a little bit of those winnings into my verb play. So you guys might ask, Josh, what is the big news on verb? Why did it capitulate? And the answer is there is simply no news anywhere. I looked on the company's website. I looked on all the standard news channels. I looked on Reddit and Twitter, and I saw a lot of people asking the question, but there was no big event. But here's what I think is happening with the price. The likely explanation is this is still the fallout from them raising new money. The last time they raised $11 million, the speculation at the time is that that would hold them over until the end of this year, going into the first quarter of next year. But the fact that they raised money now, another $4 million, indicated to a lot of people that they had burned through the $11 million in just seven short months. And I think that's where the large concern has come from, is it's raised focus to the idea that these guys are burning through cash too quickly, which brings the management into question. As far as a catalyst to move the stock up, I'm just gonna give you two ideas for that. One, this capitulation event and the fact that they have been in the oversold territory for around 19 days in and of itself may be enough of a catalyst to move the stock back up. But beyond that, the only other event on the horizon that looks like it will move the stock is this upcoming earnings event. So this quarter will be the first quarter that Verb's market software has been active. It wasn't active the entire quarter. It was only active halfway through. So will there be enough sales generated by their new marketplace to actually beat the expectations of Wall Street? Last quarter, they were expected to get a negative 07, and this quarter, they were expected to get a negative 06. The current move in the stock price is simply the speculation that based on how fast they're burning through cash, the concern is that they're very likely going to miss their earnings estimate. It's important to note that Verb Technology has not confirmed its next earnings publications date yet. The company's estimated earnings date is Monday, November 21st, 2022, based off of last year's reporting date, so it has not been confirmed the exact date. One of the other concerns that a lot of people have been talking about online is that the CEO has been extremely quiet. He has not provided any response to the shareholders or any form of news that would suggest that everything is okay. As I mentioned before, he is currently a guest judge on a reality TV show at this moment, so in a weird way, people are speculating, this guy's not telling us what's going on with Verb. He's over here on a reality TV show. So things are either really good and he's got time to spare, or he's ignoring the problem. So all that really leaves us with is the charts. So let's see exactly what the charts are saying. At this moment in time on the RSI, we've been oversold for 19 straight days. The price is presumed to bounce soon because the longer the ticker stays in the oversold zone, the more promptly an uptrend is expected. We have never broken out of the descending channel that we have been in for well over a year. If we do get a definitive move outside of this channel, that also would be 
a very bullish moment, seeing that we will have put this trend behind us and will potentially be moving into a new upward trend. We did get a gravestone doji and that absolutely signaled to us that we were likely to have a flash down. I imagined that we were gonna get a flash down and touch the all time lows, but we broke through that. This was a much stronger move. I think there was a lot of capitulation. People had their stop losses set right beneath that 29, 28 cent area. And that is what flashed us all the way down to 17 cents. I did tell everybody that I was not going to use a stop loss on this play because I did not want to expose myself to the volatility that we might see at this bottom end. My risk on this has been controlled by trying to keep my position size down. Now I did cross over my desired position size today when I bought some more. But at this point, I'm going to chill with it. I feel like I got some at the capitulation moment. And now I'm going to be looking for the movement up. That's assuming that everything is OK with the fundamentals, as well as it is assuming that when the earnings come out, that these guys have handled their cash appropriately, haven't overspent and have actually made some money. It very well may be the case that what we saw today was the paper hands and the retail capitulation. I'm going to go over a recent Forbes article just to give you an overview of why we're in this stock to begin with. So I'm going to go through some of the top points that the article made. It said live stream shopping is expected to hit $20 billion in 2022, and it's expected to grow to $57 billion in 2025. It highlighted the fact that Walmart is partnering with platforms like TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook to host live shopping events. That's a pretty mainstream shift. It talked about the fact that in China, live stream shopping hit 327 billion in 2021. That's right, 327 billion compared to the US's 22 billion. And in addition to that, that size was a 108% year over year growth from 2020. If the US followed China's lead, we have yet to see that explosive growth opportunity here. It was speculated that America's growth could exceed that of China's because American audience actually know more about what this product is because they grew up with channels like QVC. They mentioned that those types of channels have largely aged out and that the current generations are moving towards buying from influencers. One of the appeals to American retailers is that live stream shopping boasts a 10x conversion rate to traditional marketing. And so there's a lot to be gained for American companies to move towards this model. Only 30% of Americans have watched a live stream shopping event. Most Americans are entirely unfamiliar with this product. It's yet to move into the mainstream. And they also mentioned that live stream shopping accounts for only 2% of existing sales in the US, while in China right now, live stream shopping accounts for 23% of all of their sales. And so there's a huge opportunity for the years to come for this industry to grow in the US. And this is the exact target that Verb Technologies has been after. They've been trying to position themselves in advance of this large potential coming movement in sales and be one of the leaders with the best technology and the best product. I've personally gone and on this channel, we compared Verb Technology to the other big uh, technologies currently doing this in the US. And Verb had a number of programming advantages above them. They've also been able to make these great alliances with big multi-billion dollar American companies. So this whole thing just boils down to one point right now. It all comes down to the fundamentals. We see that we have had price action breakdown in the charts. We're very likely going to get a bounce from here. But the question is, where is it really going to go? I think we're going to find that out in November when we get the earnings. It's going to come down to how successful these guys were in controlling their cash flow and really how successful they're going to be in surviving. Are they going to be able to raise more cash four months from now? Because it appears that they're going through about a million dollars a month loss. If they're not able to raise more cash, it doesn't matter how great of a company they are. They could be forced simply because of running out of cash to go out and find a buyer from their technology. And everybody knows that if you are, if your house is on fire, you can't sell it. It's not the ideal time to sell. So that's the bottom line with Verb. We're waiting to see if these guys are in control or whether they've lost control. But we've seen this in the past. This stock has come down to super low prices, turned right around and ramped up to two or three dollars 
It's happened repeatedly in the history of this company. And so here we are at the 11th hour. These guys are just getting ready to turn a profit. They finally launched their proprietary software. The market is doubting them. They're Price is getting driven down. A lot of the retail people are capitulating because it makes sense in some ways to get out of it because you're thinking, well, somebody must know something. But right now, all that we know is that these guys have a great technology. They're very close to turning a profit and we're gonna find out everything at the earnings. So the question is whether you guys are staying in it. I've made my bed at this point with Verb. I'm gonna sleep in it. I'm gonna wait until the earnings comes out. But you guys let me know in the comment section what you're going to do, whether you got out today or whether you're going to buy the dip or what your thoughts are, whether you regret ever buying Verb, let me know. Hit the like and I'll see you guys in the next video.